Well, Tony, last week you promised us that we could do chili three different ways. Are you going to deliver on that promise today? We are. Um, we're going to do three um, dishes from a chili. Okay. Sounds interesting. So, what do we need? Our ingredients are as follows. We've got some lovely extra lean minced beef, some chopped uh, red onion. We have some fresh chili, red and green. Um, we have a teaspoon of marjoram, teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of chili, and I haven't got that much chili because I've got all that fresh chili there. And then that's paprika, it gives us a nice, lovely redness. Now I have some um, uh, coriander here, we can add that later on, and it does tone the flavor down if it's too hot for you. Some chopped tomato, some veg, doesn't have it in every uh, every recipe that you see, but you have some green and some yellow pepper, some chopped um, carrot, some fresh garlic. The reason why I don't use, as some recipes say, red pepper is because are you going to see it? Then we have tomato puree here, our kidney beans. Can you see? Yeah, lovely. You got them out of a tin, I presume. I did. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's and okay. then you have um, some beef stock. Great. And we're ready to cook. I'd have a lot of those ingredients, but the, the spices, the marjoram and so on, I'd have to go and I buy. I told you that <clears throat> if you take in this serious, you'll buy in your stock. Like any hobby, you need your bits and pieces for it. That's something we have to do, is put together a shopping list for aspiring chefs. Okay, we have to. Now, that's the royal we, I suppose. Let's yeah, start. Tony, I see you have your witch's cauldron, a bubbling there. What's that for? That's a boiling water, and that's going to be for our rice, which is our final ingredient. It's patent rice, long grain rice. Uh, there's about two cups of rice there, and we'll have about uh, eight cups of water. So it's usually four to water to one of rice. Uh, and they're just normal cups they are, okay? And we'll put that on about halfway through the cooking process. Let's start cooking our chilli though. In goes our uh, oil. So in goes the onion. And next is the chilli. <coughs> the fresh chilli. The fresh chilli. And that goes in. Remember to wash your hands before and also after you've chopped the chilli. Otherwise you could have a little accident. A little burning sensation. Lovely. Starting to smell good. It is. In goes our beef. That's quite a lot of meat. There's around about 500 grams. That's enough for about four people, that is. Or, or two of us. Looking good now, Tony. How, how long it's did that take? Na it's not bad at all. That took only about five minutes or so. And you can see the mince is um, <clears throat> is browned. It's not quite cooked, but it's brown anyway. And it's in small pieces, which is important. You don't want any big lumps in there. Now, what we'll do is we'll add our vegetables to this. We want our vegetables to be quite crunchy anyway. And in goes the garlic. Lots of garlic there. I know you like your garlic. Oh, wow. So that's the vegetables. And then we're going to add our herbs and our spices. In goes the marjoram. Um, our cumin. I say about half a teaspoon, never mind the full teaspoon of that, okay? The chili goes in. Now, you might say, why didn't I add the chili beforehand? Remember what happened when we dry fried the, uh, or dry roasted the spices? Oh, yeah, we, oh, had, yeah, we, were we had a major outtake place, okay. that video. That was, uh, and that's paprika that goes in there. Mix that all around like so. In goes the tomato puree. You know, I have a. Uh a habit of reproducing these recipes when we, when we shoot <laughs> Well, I'm glad somebody does, okay? <laughs> They're only done for you, and this one, of course, this week is for Shay. Hopefully he'll be watching this. And in goes, it's about a half a tin, or three quarters of a tin of chopped tomato. You chopped those nicely, yeah, uh, Lorcan. Thank, Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Mix that around. I should have had a big frying pan, but we'll manage. We'll get by. Final ingredient for the moment, I'm going to add a bit of um, stock. Not too much. Bring that to the boil, simmer that down. I'll stick my kidney beans in later and I'll season, correct the seasoning then too. We're going to make the rice. Right, for the rice, there's our patna long grain rice, uh, our boiling water, and that goes in like so. A bit of salt and pepper, and we're away. That should take around about 10 minutes to cook. We will check it to make sure though. Okay, just sit back now and have a cup of tea. Our rice is nearly cooked, our chili is nearly cooked as well. I'm just going to add the kidney beans. I know you don't like these kidney beans, but uh, 
we'll add them anyway. There are a few other ingredients that you can add if you wish, you don't have to, but this is the basic chili recipe. Okay, I'm just going to check the rice now. Let me show you. Best thing is, if you get a couple of the grains like so, you can squeeze them if you wish. Or the best thing is actually put it into your mouth. A little bit still al dente, which means to the tooth. Not quite, I'd say another two minutes and that rice will be ready. But I'm going to season the rice with a bit of pepper, a bit of salt, and I'll also do my uh, chili. Give that a nice mix in. Now to complete our three dishes, we're going to have to cook one more thing, and we'll do that in a minute, all right? And that's actually our white sauce uh, for the chili lasagna. I'm going to show you how to make a nice, simple, white sauce now, all right? I have here 500 mils, which is about a, a pint of uh, milk, and we put that on to boil. And what we're going to do is we're going to season that up. And this is a classic thing. This is a bit of onion, a bay leaf, and some cloves. And we stud the onion um, with the cloves and the bay leaf, like so. Is that a bit of that? Yeah. And that goes in there for flavour. Now we're going to simmer that for about five minutes. Tony, you added the onion and bay leaf and cloves while the milk was still cold. Is that the right way? The idea is that what we're doing is we're infusing the flavours that are in these three things, the onion, the cloves and the bay leaf, into the milk so we have some basic flavours there. Just have to wait for that to come to the boil. Rolling. Right, now I have my corn flour, which I've just diluted in so a little bit of water, and I'm going to add it to my simmering milk. This is presumably to thicken the sauce, isn't it's it? It's to thicken the sauce. How we flavour it up, or how we give it richness is, we'll add a knob of butter, and there's about 50 grams of butter that goes into that. An awful lot, but we can afford it. How much corn flour did you put in? How much corn flour did I use? Well, I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. But when, once you get the recipe, uh, you'll see how much it is. It's around about two tablespoons of corn flour. And our sauce is of the right consistency. I'm just going to remove our studded onion. Add some salt and pepper. Our sauce is now ready. We've taken out our onion um, and we've seasoned it. It's the right consistency. Um, there is an awful lot of sauce there, even though it's only a pint or a half a litre. So if I was putting that away for storage later on, I'd stick it into a bowl, put a bit of melted butter over the top, and when it's cold, put it into the fridge. And that way, you don't, it doesn't form a skin. Lorcan, the chilli's ready. Uh, the rice is cooked. I've drained the uh, water off. And you can see it's lovely and dry. Yeah. What I did was I put it back on the stove and I just dried out the rest of the moisture that was in there. So you've got good quality rice and it's not too wet. But here's a little trick for you. This is the one we did before. We did this before, right? And all I'm doing, it's a bit of coriander there, and all I'm doing is putting a couple of spoonfuls in there. It'll flavour and also help to keep the um, rice from not sticking together. Although this is a good rice. Can you see? Mm. Right, we're nearly ready to serve, but one final thing we do before we actually uh, have our chilli, you'll see in some recipes it'll talk about using a sour cream. Now have you come across sour cream in supermarkets recently? I have, yeah. You have? Well, you're lucky because some people have said to me, I can't find it and so on, so here's a quick tip for you. If you have cream that's going off in the fridge, that's sour. Here's another one, uh, some fresh cream. It's around about 120 mils of that. We add some lemon juice to it. Okay, mm -hmm. and we whisk it up. Right, that didn't take long at all. You can see, that was about half a tablespoonful of lemon juice I added to that. Have you ever made it like this before? No, I've never done that. Oh no, come on, you told me before you had. You don't have to be... No, I've, I've bought you it have, before. You've bought it, but that's all it is. That's simply, that's all it is. And if you haven't got fresh lemon, you can use the squidgy stuff. And don't say you don't have this in your uh, cupboard, because I know you like your pancakes, and so that's where uh, that'll come in. Right, we have our sour cream ready. We're going to uh, serve up our chilli. And here's our base of uh, rice. Make a little well in the centre, like so. And in goes a portion of uh, chili con carne. Chili con carne simply meaning chilies with meat. That's it. A little bit of sour cream. 
and garnish with a bit of coriander. Voila! Right, that's dish one. Dish two are the tortillas. Okay? Okay. I'm going to put those into the oven for around about 30 seconds and then they'll be ready to use. Alright, here we go. They've had about 30 seconds in there, they're quite warm. Okay, <clears throat> healthy this is. We have uh, Frise, Lola Rosso and Oak Leaf Lessers and they will go down the centre like so. Cucumber from my brother-in-law's garden. Thank you, Brian. Here, yeah. tomato. A little bit of chopped onion. In goes the chilli. I'll put some chilli on top of that. That's quite healthy. Sour cream. And we'll attempt to fold them. <laughs> good luck now. This should be good. That was a decent effort. That wasn't bad, was it? <laughs> okay, eat them with a knife and fork. That's all I say. You can actually put a little bit of cheese on top of those. And I have got some cheese. And we'll finish them off in the oven for a few seconds. There are our tortilla wraps. Yes, they look great. Not bad. A little bit of um, paprika over the top. And the final dish. A tortilla lasagna. Some tortilla. In the bottom. In goes some chilli. Another layer goes in on top of that. It's a chili con carne layer cake. Here we are. White sauce on top. And then some parmesan. Stick that into the oven. Let's bake that off. Great, okay. Right, we've scoffed the rest of the food mm -hmm. and now it's time to um, see what lasagna is doing in the oven. How long was it in the oven, Tony? It was in the oven for around about 10 minutes. Okay. Very high, 250. Now I'm just going to transfer that to a plate and then we're ready to serve that. There's our good side of it. Well done, it came off in one piece. Now, look at that. Looks fabulous. To be honest with you. I'm amazed myself. I haven't done this for years, but it worked out well. It certainly did. Okay, let's get tucked in. And um, what's next week, Tony? Next week we're going to do salmon. Great stuff. Love fish. Oh, that's good. Thanks. Bye, Tony.